What's up everybody, Kinetic here and welcome back to Wolves and Lords of Mayhem. We're continuing here in this video series to explore Alpha version 0.5, what it offers and uh, get to see what the first half of Act 1 is going to be like for this upcoming ARPG. Uh, keep in mind that uh, there may be some, uh, some bugs or some crashes here that we may run into. They've already had three hotfixes now. Uh, which says good and bad things about the game. Uh, bad that, you know, there's so many bugs in, uh, in what they put in, but good that they also identified those and um, were able to act quickly to, to fix them and get them sorted out for, uh, for people that are testing the alpha build right now. So we are continuing with the, uh, the main stories. That's basically what we've, we've got to, uh, got to do. Uh, there are no side quests yet uh, put into Wilson, so we're sticking with the uh, the main storyline which is uh which is cool i'm really curious being uh the lord nerd that i am I'm really curious to see more about what wilson will be offering uh lore wise interesting characters hopefully and uh and deep story that's uh that's always a really really big plus for me oh oh well hello there miss it's very nice to meet you uh Saren? Let's talk. Not enough rage. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to right click on her. Left click. There we go. Oh, she's kind of cute. Great. Someone helpful coming my way. Your timing is perfect. I just need you to gather two. No, three more ingredients for this potion. They're not hard to find. Quick. Off you go. Uh, really? <laughs> Wait. You're not gonna. You're not gonna give me any favors first or, or nothing like that. Okay. Saren. You, uh, you got quite the, the lab going on around here. Uh, I don't have time to listen to your story. See, I'm cooking right now. Besides, I don't know you. So we'll talk when my potion is ready, not before. Whoops, I think I skipped something. This is super important, okay? The corruption has spread this way, and this potion is the only way to stop it. So you'll tell me your life story later when we're safe. Oh, okay. I'll need one gravedigger's heart, but... You may have to desecrate a few graves to lure him out of his lair. Best spot to start is the village of Evergrave. You probably saw it on your way here. Then I'll need a few arctic... Wow. Okay, lady. <laughs> uh, a few arctic roots from the Hailstone Bay northwest of here. You, you should find them near the Hailstone Lake, but be careful when picking them up. They only grow in dangerous areas with ridiculously low temperatures. And last but not least, one unspoiled pithus egg. That the most Im that that's the most important ingredient of all. Okay, I know where you can find uh, pithosis in a nearby cave to the north in the hailstone fields. I'm um, point po po pointing all three <laughs> on your map. If you get lost and take this before you go, you seem a little unprepared for what is waiting for you out there. Off you go, my little warrior. Quest completed. Tome of Frost Nova and Tome of Terror. Ooh, violently slams the ground, stunning nearby enemies in a large radius. I am going with that. There we go, level seven. Something I noticed with the um, uh, the da, 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 the brutal strike, it's probably not meant to be like a leap slam, like for example with barbarians in uh, in Diablo three. But I kind of wish it, it would act like that. Um, it only seems to want to kind of like slam in place. Like there's no there's no forward momentum at all with it. Um, so like if I if I click it but then an enemy it happens to be moving at that same time out of the way I'll completely miss my my attack like there's no tracking there's no no movement really with it other than uh, up and down oh wow that uh, that's the first time I've seen that that freeze uh, kick in with my um, yeah the or frost damage with the uh, the peasant hammer I think or at first time I, I noticed it anyway so yeah I kind of wish the I kind of wish the brutal strike would just like even just a little bit like move a, a bit forward or something like that you know just to just to kind of lock on enemies just just to to a degree would be nice oh wow here's another little uh mini dungeon cool 
Let's uh let's jump in here for as soon as we clear out these scrubs. Get out of here. Boom. Like it's great when when enemies are really aggressive and they're coming for me, like then I I don't have to worry about it. But some enemies I'm trying to chase and they uh, they can be a pain in the ass to to hit with brutal strike. Oh. Here we go. This is different. Yeah, like these spiders, for example, I'll absolutely destroy them. Oh no, I'm out of room in my inventory. I'll absolutely destroy them with Brutal Strike because they're coming for me, right? Oh, that works great though. Look at that. Hit them with the ranged attack and then when they get in close, punish them with Brutal Strike. What the? Is that a ghoul? Yep, that's a ghoul. Let's see if we can stun him. Nope, that didn't seem to work. Ah. I keep forgetting about my knife. Damn it! <laughs> and I missed it. I keep forgetting my knife attack. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, here we are. I think destroy enough tombs to lure a grave digger. Let's give this a try. Oh, that's how we get it done. Whoa, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Slowly roll. Dude, are you kidding me? Look at this guy. What the hell is that? Did I just miss my freaking dagger? Like a noob? Oh, this is crazy. What the hell? I also completely forgot to assign my, um... My gate of fates uh, points here. Strength for each enemy targeting you. Okay, yep. Let's go with that and confirm. I were really close to the, um... Uh, what is it? Like two-hand mastery or something like that. Let me go to my inventory. I've been keeping this just for this occasion. Oh, hell yes. Look at that. That is freaking beautiful right there. Awesome. <laughs> really, really awesome looking. All right. Let's see if we can't... Um... Actually, you know what? We also need to take a look at our skills here because I'm, I'm seeing a lot of plus signs. I'm wondering if any of these are ready for... Uh... No, not quite. Uh, any of these are ready for for upgrading. You know what? I'm going to replace this um, that uh, that holy diver uh, attack and see if we can make use of this trap maybe uh, better in this uh, this fight. All right, let's go. Round two. Ow, dude, he's got what? He's even knocking the other zombies around and stuff. Drop it, drop it like it's hot. Okay, cool. Yep. Can I stun him? Not, not really. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go, here we go. Oh, dude, the animations on the, the two-hand look amazing. The dual two-hand wielding. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Hang in there. Bring this sucker down. Dump it. Yeah, dump all that rage. Ow. Yeah, 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 get him! Heal up! Oh, yes! Dang, that was a lot of XP from that guy. That was a crazy fight, too. He, oh, please let there be more of that. A lot more. Just wild, unpredictable enemies like that. That was really freaking cool. There's the Gravedigger's heart. That's the item we needed. Uh, Apprentice Hood, finally, I've got something to put on my head. What else we got? We got a steel claymore. This could be better than what I'm using right now. Rain of arrows. Don't need that. Thief hood. Shield. And a bunch of other crap. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at our inventory and see what we've got. Oh, look at that freaking axe. Hell yes. Alright, we're going to put this here. And we're going to put that there. And that should be our main hand, right? This is our off hand. Um, excellent. And I didn't auto-equip one of these, so let me go ahead and put one of these on. 3% to power. 
Uh, 6-2 Umbra Generation Dodge Chance. Eh, either one's fine. Rain of Rails, go ahead and learn that. Get this zombie off me. And let's take a look, another look at myself. Dude, I look freaking awesome! I look so cool. <laughs> it looks so cool just for like this scrubby level whatever I am level 8 armor. I look like such a badass All right, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna put some more points into Constitution and strength and let's take another look at our Gate of fates. I my eyes keep checking the corner and make sure I'm getting this right <laughs> uh, Reduce 50% duration of all stun effects. Yes, I will take that. What is this? Uh, plus strength if in full medium armor. Hmm. <clears throat> I didn't even take note of that yet, whether uh, or what kind of armor I'm, I'm wearing in total. Next dodge is always successful right after a kill. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. What's over here? Battle axe mastery. Each hit done with a two-hand battle axe. Ah, that's right. There's a there's a difference here between the uh, the hammer and the battle axe. It's not just a flat two-hand bonus. Hmm. I'll take that, and then I'll take the uh, the battle axe mastery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's that's good. Uh, oh, there we go. Broad dip. broadsword mastery. Uh, each hit done with a broadsword increases your cleave. Broadswords by default are two hand. I was I was expecting to read like two hand broadsword or something like that. Now uh, increases your cleave angle by two degrees during uh, during six seconds stackable ten times. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and confirm that and we're good to go Oh, what did I just pick up? No way. I just picked up whirlwind, baby. Hell yes. Hell yes. Give me that whirlwind Swings your weapon in a powerful circular motion striking enemies uh, around you while moving and inflicting damage Yes, give me that whirlwind. Oh, hell yes. Dude, I, I'm always up for some whirlwind action. Okay, so where, I, where do I want to put this? I think I'm going to put the... Wait a second. Put the dagger attack here, and I'll put the... Where is it? Is this it? Yeah, that's the whirlwind there. I'll put that on, on my four key. Get the stupid zombie off me. And... Oh, look at that! Ah, I love it! Dude! Whirlwind always makes me jizz my pants. I love it. Whirlwind is so cool. <laughs> that's how I that's how I, I got started in ARPGs. Like loving Whirlwind uh, in Diablo 2. It was just like, uh that was it was it was awesome. For the longest time, like that that's all that I did was was Whirlwind. Uh, later I got into uh, to Necromancers big time. And uh, and that started my love for um Started my love for like pet classes in uh, in RPGs. All right, where the hell are we going? I'm trying to get to this destination uh, just north of me. Technically, east, but whatever. <laughs> oh, look at that! Yeah, we can combine. Um, we can combine. Uh, da, 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 what am I trying to say? The dash attack to get into position and then just whirlwind the crap out of them. Actually, you know what would probably make even more sense? Since, yeah, since whirlwind spins uh, the same way that, uh, what am I trying to say? That brutal strike does and uh, and is better because it actually has mobility, unlike brutal strike. Another reason why brutal strike should have some mobility, I think. I'm just going to go ahead and replace it entirely there. Uh, now it will be my uh, my right click. I won't use brutal anymore. And I'm trying to decide whether what what I want to maybe if anything put. You know what? We'll do the um, we'll do the trap. We'll put put this back here, and then we'll put the dagger uh, back and forth. There we go. I think that's uh, that's gonna work out a lot better for me. So three is my trap. Four will be uh, be my dagger. Nice. Oh yeah, hell yeah. That that feels it feels so natural to me. All right, let's jump into it. Find the unspoiled Pythus egg. What the? Wow, I don't even look like I'm on on track here. But all right. Uh. Oh hell no. That's just nasty. 
Wow, this is crazy. I'm walking on this really thick layer of webbing only. Alright, let's go ahead and set up a trap and get to spiking their asses with this lightning. There we go, triggered the trap. Done. Come on, stun him. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of hang of it now. Once I stop switching up so much. Oh, you can actually cast the... Uh... Hang on a second. I can cast that wherever I want this trap. Oh, look at that! I thought it cast at my feet for some uh, for some reason. There was a, there was a red skull, like there's a boss uh, or, or something uh, over there. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, there is a delay though for it to uh, to, to trigger. Yep, yeah, look at that. Dude! Oh, what's this? A stamina potion. Take a look at that. Where did... Oh, it automatically got applied to uh, my bar here. Small stamina potion. Restored stamina on use. Uh, plus 4% to spells. Damage on use. 10% to cooldown. Uh, reduction of your skills. Rage generation. Movement speed. Wow! That is... That's a badass potion, man. That is freaking sweet. So wait a minute, what what button do I need to click to uh, to activate that? That's a really good question. Let's go to our keybinds. Some controls, okay. Belt item, here we go. So Q, uh, W, okay, so W. All right, that makes, yeah, that's gonna be really convenient then, set up like that, I'll go with that. All right, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and apply some more points. I'm going to keep dumping, actually, because I feel really powerful, but my health is what feels really weak. I'm going to keep pumping into uh, Constitution for now. And let's look into our Gate of Fates. Physical Resistance plus Constitution. There we go. There's more health there. Broadsword. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that, since I'm likely to hold a, a broadsword or two. Ne Ooh. That's an interesting uh, trade-off. Plus 20% to strength, but negative 30% to power. So this is really... This is really going to be pushing me in the direction of uh, of, of melee now by, uh, by taking this. But so be it. I'll take it. Seismic Rift. Hang on a second. That sounds like it could be fun. Conchers... Explosions from the ground in a forward line, dealing damage to nearby enemies. Yo, we need to try that. Oh, I unlocked a, um, I didn't even realize that. I unlocked a, uh, a fifth, um, action slot. Well, I know where I'm going to put the, uh, seismic rift then. Alright, let's give this a try. Nice! <laughs> Absolutely wrecked them! And didn't even cost that much rage either! Seriously? Oh, but it's got a it's got a hell of a cooldown on it. Oh, dude, that is incredible. That is way too OP. Dude, look at that. Medium Umbra potion. Okay. Well, I can guess what that's gonna do for me, right? Dude, that is that is insane. I can't believe how much damage that does, and for so little, so little umber spent. I mean, look at how much I have to dump with um with the uh, whirlwind to be able to to get that much damage out, right? Hang on a second. All right, some full up on rage. Let's do this. Look at that! Look at how little rage it spends. That is insane. 
And it does so much damage. And at much better range. Wow, I can't believe that. Well, actually I can. Um, I mean, it's not as though like we're at the point in the game where balance is, is going to be really uh, well tweaked or anything like that. You know, it, I should have expected that. But damn. Uh, I would really, yeah. <laughs> I'd really like to see either Whirlwind get buffed or... Uh, or this uh, this ground slam attack, whatever whatever it's called, seismic rip. This this might need to be uh, might need to be nerfed to just a wee bit. Finally, we're approaching this uh, this red skull. Man, it was like 15 minutes ago, <laughs> like when I first saw this, when I, I first came into this dungeon, or something like that. Pithis warrior extra damage and armored. Okay, let's uh, let's get it. Damn it, he moved away from the the bomb. Come on, slam. Oh, dude. Are you kidding me? I, I I completely destroyed that thing. Like it was nothing. I was expecting a significantly tougher fight than that. Everything's already dead, Kinetic. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Look at how much more whirlwinding I have to do. To get uh, to get that kind of effect, I could just seismic rift instead. God, that is so powerful. I can't even imagine what that's gonna do when it actually gets upgraded. All right. Uh, speaking of which, just take a look. It's not. No, it's not not quite ready for a uh, an upgrade. Is whirlwind? Yes, it is. Uh, reduced cost. That would be welcome. Yeah, hits enemies faster. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with cost reduction. I'm a big fan of of uh, reduced cost reduction and uh, and cooldown. In uh, in most cases, it seems like that works out really really well. Whoa, that was close. I actually took a ton of damage from those bastards. I noticed something, actually. Um, oh, look at that. There's more red skulls. So, wait a minute. That wasn't even the boss then. Oh, okay. That's just... That's just what? Marking, like, elites or something like that then? I guess? Where the hell is the end of this dungeon then? That... This is freaking crazy. Okay. Um, what was I saying? I completely forgot. I was saying something about something. Oh, wait. This looks... <sighs> Are you kidding me? Well, it seems that everything has respawned uh, since my death. I'm not sure how I feel about that. On one hand, that's pretty hardcore. And it makes me, it makes me really, really, really careful now, I think, uh, to watch, watch my health and not let that happen again. On the other hand, though, this dungeon is absolutely massive. And like I said, it took me like some 15 minutes or something like that to get to that point where, where I was. Um, but on the other hand, since I came in here, I am considerably more powerful. Come on now. Considerably more powerful than, uh, than I was when I first stepped into this place. So I should be able to actually catch up to where I was much quicker. Man, I've got this down to a science now, I think. <laughs> Just on the uh, on the return trip, I kind of rearranged the, uh, the skills on my action bar a little bit. Thought about combining them in, uh, in a certain pattern just for like a minute. And now I'm much more efficient, it feels like. 
Uh, I'm I'm not even using Whirlwind, unfortunately, anymore because it's just it's so freaking expensive for uh, for what it does. I mean, look at that. Why why bother with Whirlwinding when I can just hit him with the seismic uh, the seismic rift? It just completely destroys them. Yeah, this looks like... Yeah, I'm going to take that, definitely. Uh, I will take that as well. Let's dump these these whites. I don't need them. Taking up my space. Taking up my space. I'll keep the blues still. We got a couple more tomes to uh, to consume here. Spread shot, fireball, stuff like that. Fireball's pretty cool. I think that that's... Is that the, the big one, or is that the spread one? I wonder... Okay, yeah, it's a it, it's a single exploding uh, fireball. Okay, cool. See, so yeah, when I'm full up on uh, on Umbra and lacking rage, then I uh, I just hit him with the uh, the holy diver now, uh, kind of like as a uh, as an opener if if that's you know where my my energy is at, and then I'll slam them uh, or tremor them to uh, to stun them so that way they won't all beat on me at the same time. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, and then I'll I'll probably have generated a ton of rage from that uh so then i go ahead and just seismic rift to finish them off if i've already got rage and i just go ahead and start with seismic rift yo these guys look nasty look at that how much damage they did okay they didn't even have skulls on them either that's the scary part were they supposed to were these the ones maybe i encountered earlier where am i on the map Oh no. See, this is what drives me crazy. I can't see. I can't really see where the hell, like, I am or, or where I've been so so well without a, a, a movable tab map. Ugh. Alright. Ah, yeah, that, uh, that's gonna trigger them. Dude, that freaking dagger, though, does so much damage. Nice. <laughs> There's another new combination I just uh, threw together as a as kind of like a, a trigger to uh, to pull them. I use uh, disruption to place uh, in the the landing location of my uh, my holy dive, and then after I arrive with a holy dive, uh, I'll also tremor. So like, there's three skills all put together very really really, really nicely um, and works fantastic for aggressive enemies uh, like this. So one, two. Um, there we go, yep. There we go, like that. Just like that. Absolutely devastating. I mean, <laughs> I could just press Seismic Rift when I have the uh, the Rage, though. Uh, and it, <laughs> it takes care of them just as quick. It's ridiculous. Plus, I've upgraded it now, too, to, to deal even more damage, so... It's, it's just disgustingly OP. I love it. <laughs> Alright. Level up. So let's get some... Uh, let's get some more points here. Uh, plus 10% to damage factor of your weapons in dual wield. Yeah. Compensation to the natural damage reduction of dual wielding. Yeah, well, I'm dual wielding, so let's do that. That's, that's fantastic, yeah. Attack speed of dual wielding plus dexterity... Damage done uh, with one-handed weapons, not including dual wielding. Hmm. Uh, killing chain grants you a gladiator stack. Uh, attack speed, physical damage. Each time you kill somebody successively, those stacks are removed when your chain uh, killing chain stops. That sounds actually really amazing. That means at, at, for every time I, I kill enemy, I, I'm getting powerful and more powerful. Even if, if I like. For example, I, it sounds like if I kill like five enemies at one time or something like that, boom, I just upgraded uh, my attack speed and damage by, by 5%. So my my group fight capability just went up immensely. And I think, I don't, I don't know, I think maybe I'm getting close to either where I died or, or something. I don't even know anymore. I, I'm, I'm almost giving up trying to understand like my location and stuff in this dungeon and just going
That's interesting. I'm seeing a bunch of uh, white items on the ground. I think I think this might might be the spot where I died guys <sighs> okay let's do this I don't know why I whirlwinded but they are dead yeah, they're they're fast and I think their attack speed is is faster too or something Yep, look at that. Look at that. This is where I died before, isn't it? Look at all this stuff on the ground. This has to be where I died. What the? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I think we finally... Dude, we finally found... What is this? Like the boss lair or something like that? The quest just updated and said take the egg. Which one? This one? Yeah, this is not going to be good. This is not gonna... No. They're not gonna just let me take an egg. <gasps> oh, boy. It's an ambush! And they're already attacking... What the hell?! Come on, now! Dude! I almost got destroyed while waiting for the cinematic camera to finish. That wasn't cool. We're alright, though. We're alright. We're alright. Hang in there. Yep. Good, good, good. Nice. Oh no, I missed the, uh, the, the health globe. I really wanted that. So am I trapped in here or can I just run if I want to? <laughs> I'm wondering. Look at that. Look at that splash damage from a, a single target da dagger attack. <laughs> That's a nice looking chest. Ooh. There's some nice looking loot. Take a look at that. Iron... Whoa! Look at that armor upgrade. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. What else did I pick up? I picked up that, of course, but... No, wait, there was something else. Was this it? The mage armlet? I think this might have been it. Wow, look at that health upgrade. That is actually... Yeah, I'm gonna take that. <laughs> I think that's worth losing a little bit of armor. I just got a bunch of armor anyway. So, yeah. Cool. Um, surely that can't have been it, though. Like, there's got to be, like, a boss spider around here somewhere. Like, some big ass, big badass that wants to make me its meal. Get out of my face. Maybe on the way out or something? I'm not sure. Let's, um, I'm looking around to see if, like, there's maybe a door or something like that that will lead me out of here. But nope, it's just a, uh, just a dead end. Oh, I didn't even see that in the quest. Bring the egg back to Saren. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I completely missed that uh, that uh, quest update when uh, when the cinematic camera started flying. Okay, well I've got my egg at last. My God, dude, I've been in this place for I swear for like thirty minutes now. This is the longest longest ARPG dungeon I can. I can remember playing now for quite some time. I will use my uh, my return teleport and get the hell out of here. All right, so I've got two of the three items that she wants. Let's uh, go back to Saren and see what she has to say about us retrieving these items. Hooray, you found the heart. I hope the gravedigger didn't give you too much trouble. They get angry when they're disturbed, you know, being dead and all. <laughs> okay, there's that. Oh, thank you, a genuine pithis egg. It's so cute, it will do perfectly. I only regret you didn't brought bring me two or three more that I see it, but I suppose it will suffice. Damn right it will. You have any idea <laughs> how long it took me to find that egg? Jesus. <sighs> okay. 
So, is she gonna say anything else? Probably be like, where's the other item? Nope. Nope. Didn't fill in her, uh, her dialogue that much. That's fine with me. I think it's, uh, I'm gonna take a, uh, a short break anyway. Um, while I, yeah, I cool off from that, that very extensive, uh, spider dungeon run and uh, throw this video together. I'm gonna be jumping back into it uh, really soon. Not su such a long pause like there was with uh, the last video and this one. There will be another video coming up soon where we continue with this quest and can continue on exploring the first half of Act 1 here in Alpha Point 5 of Wilson Lords of Mayhem. Until then, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support Wilson here on the channel and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Also, links to Wilson's uh, Steam page and website will be down in the, the description so if you want more info maybe pick up the uh the early access yourself then uh yeah that's uh that's down there for you so yeah that's it thanks again for watching this is kinetic and i'll see you next time